Hey everybody, welcome back to the Riding Country Channel. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, I want to talk to you guys about a product today, a product for your motorcycle, an accessory for the bike. And why do I want to talk about this product? Well, because sometimes companies get it. Once in a while, a company understands customer service. All right, guys, here it is. It's in the box still. And I just want to give you a little backstory to the to my process in ordering this windshield. First of all, Mundo came with the stock shield. It's a five-inch shield. It's way too short for me. I do a lot of riding, and I do a lot of highway riding too, which I actually like. And the buffering with the five-inch shield is just, it's ridiculous. It's it's way too much for me. I'm almost six three, and it just you know give me a headache. Anyways, so I went ahead and I I asked a couple people you know about windshields and Colin Bronco Ride thank you for the suggestion he did a video about his windshield he purchased from Freedom Shields I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of them if you haven't definitely check them out and here's why these guys make the windshields to order they cut the order they, they do it specifically for your needs a lot of times when I went on the website even uh, some of the big cycle companies um, even including Harley the windshields that they offer you know they come in sizes five inches seven inches nine inches well I need an eight inch you know I for my height and how I sit on this bike eight inch windshield is was perfect for me and these guys will make an eight inch they'll make any size you want the thing is it takes them about seven to ten days you know once you place the order it takes them about that much time to cut it and ship it and we're getting ready for the hoot here so what happened is is the hoots coming, right? Hoot Annie uh, 3 is, is, is well on its way here, coming soon. And, and I needed a new windshield for the hoot, definitely. So anyways, that was big kudos to them for, for taking care of this and making sure it got here. And the good thing too is, is you'll see uh, when I take it out, uh, they, they come covered in plastic so I can put it on the bike here and ride around and see if it works for Mundo. And if it's not a fit, then I can ship it right back. No questions asked and they'll ship you another one free so it's pretty cool man it's a stand-up company and very happy to do business with them and I most certainly will do it again do more business with them in the future and if you guys are in a market for windshield need one definitely check them out freedom shield all right let me put this on after I drop everything so let me get this on the bike and uh, we'll take them for a spin and see uh, see how we like the new shield right, be back and, yeah that's how it's packaged well, thank you know from them. All right, I got the medium tint one. Uh, I didn't want to do the full full tint one because I do plan on doing some some riding at nighttime here. But here we go. Here's the eight inch, and right now I can tell you that is going to be perfect. And these things are des uh, designed too to make the airflow go up. You can see the curvature there. See that? All right. So here yeah, we get to test ride these. Please feel free to mount the shield and take a short test ride as long as you have good visibility over the shield. And these are definitely thicker. What a nice, much nicer product, I can tell you, than the stock ones. You can almost see, huh? I don't know if you can tell the difference. But yeah, just in the thickness alone. So this is uh, much more durable. i just feeling it. My God, it feels like a good heavy-duty product. All right, Freedom Shield. Thank you, guys. Thank you very, very much. John, I appreciate you doing what you did, buddy sending this out in a couple days all right I'm going to put them on the bike and uh i'm not going to show you how you guys do it i mean it's very simple i think i think it's a t um t27 or a t25 at the at the very least i think it's a t27 no just three screws here one two three and you take it out pop it in very simple do not tighten these up that much just get them just where they tighten up where they stop moving and and that's very pretty much it that's all you need because the second you start over tightening those those well nuts inside, they get stripped. And once that happens, man, I can tell you this much, it's a pain in the butt. Um, I had to deal with that with Rubio for a couple of years, and I had to replace them. I had to put epoxy in them a couple times a season, and it's just a pain in the butt. So just do yourself a favor, just tighten these up very lightly. Just you know, screw them on until they stop turning, and basically that's it. Give them a little bit more after that, and that's it. That's all you want. It's on. Very simple. One, two, three screws. Be careful with the torque of the screws, okay? You don't want to over-torque those screws. Uh, one thing with this, this windshield, it's such a fine quality. Nice and thick. 
The only thing that does concern me is the only downfall so far is it kind of um, compromises the seal for the waterproof. Uh, I have to see what I, have to, what I can do about that. Um, not that I'm out, uh, you know, riding in the rain often, but just in case you get stuck in some rain, I got to see, you know, how crucial that could, you know, potentially be or, or what the fix could be, or maybe I just have it wrong. I don't know. But it's a fine, fine shield. I mean, this is like top notch, man. I love the way it looks. It's curved just right. Um, also, uh, another disclaimer, too. Hey, my buddy Matt. Uh, another disclaimer. This is my first vlog with the Cena backpack. I just detached it, so hopefully it's all working out fine. Um, hopefully you can hear me and everything's working fine. I'm not sure how it's going to work on the road. I have to play, I have to experiment with the, um, you know, uh, with the wind issues, with the visor up and down off stuff. But anyways, it's, uh, let's see, it's more than 89. It's in the 90s, and I just put a bigger windshield on, so you probably think I'm crazy, right? But this hot weather isn't going to last forever up here in New England. It goes quick. So this windshield's going to come in handy. And a uh, new set of soft lowers, too, maybe. Anyways, let's give the uh, Freedom Shield a, a test ride here and see the difference, which I'm sure I can tell you right now. It's, I can tell you right now it's going to be a big difference. Yeah, right off the bat, that's perfect height for me, too. I kind of like, you know, I do like the stock ones, the way they look. They look cooler, I guess, but they really serve no purpose other than maybe keep your your chin a little warmer, maybe, your neck. But I am going to get on the highway. But I can tell you right now, there's a huge difference already. Huge, huge difference. Okay, so what are my first thoughts here on Freedom Shields? I did get the medium tinted. Because I do plan on doing more night riding, so I don't want to have it totally blacked out. Although I can see, I mean, this is perfect height for me, the 8 inches. It's perfect. I can see over it, and it's, it's very effective. I can even hear the radio so much better, I don't have to blast it. Also, another issue I was having, I was having a lot of shake in this bike. It, it makes the bike so much easier for me to ride because the buffering was so bad with that stock shield. So I'm very happy with my uh, windshield, Freedom Shield, medium tint. This is the 8 inch. I'm going to get on the highway here, and let's hope the, uh, the Cena backpack is working good. So far, I'm very happy with the Freedom Shield, windshield. Very happy, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you sending this two days without an extra charge. I really do appreciate that, because you really didn't have to do that. I fully understand that. It's, it's very, and I wasn't looking for you guys to do that. I was just, initially, I was just curious to see if uh, it was going to make it here in time, because if not, I would have had to bit the bullet and gone to Harley and bought one and I would have been very depressed about that, <laughs> disappointed and I'm glad it all worked out. I'm very happy. Very happy with my Freedom Shield windshield. Thank you guys. Hey everybody, be cool. If there's any uh, breaking news with the windshield on the highway, I'll, I'll cut back in. But for now, I'll sign off. I appreciate you watching, taking the time if you get a chance. And if you're in the market and if you need a new windshield, definitely uh, check out Freedom Shields. I, I couldn't be more happy. This is this is a top-notch windshield. Top-notch. Great job, guys. All right, everybody. Be safe. Ride and let ride. All right, Mundo. Fast on a rough road riding high Through the mountains climbing Twisting, turning further from my home Oh man, Freedom Shields, you guys are going to get me in trouble. Wow. Extremely happy with it. Extremely, extremely happy. I got up to um, 